and clover. Dun, 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 dun. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over. Gravy make a splash like Pippin. Shit, that's nothing. Splash. Everybody call me Big Pimpin'. No, I ain't bluffing. I'm with your mom in the kitchen. Making blueberry muffins. Back in 2016, I uploaded the top 10 dunkers not NBA video. Pretty much my most popular video. It really got me my channel to blow up, and it is probably the only reason I still make videos today. Um, that video was highly controversial and brought a lot of attention to my channel, a lot of comments. Later, I decided to update that list because I thought there's a lot I got wrong and I was just young and I was inexperienced and I didn't really understand what I was doing at the time. So a year later, I made that update video. But today, I think I need to update the list one more time, two years from then, just because I think that there are still some things that could be corrected. I think there's enough that could be changed. This is gonna be my 2020 update of the top 10 dunkers of all time let's get into these honorable mentions um first and foremost we got to have golden child in here super high jumper uh real old school choice i just think that he doesn't quite have the variation and such to uh throw him in one of these lists he doesn't quite have the name recognition but i'm um, definitely someone i've debated putting in the bottom section of my list before um some other guys who've appeared on lists in the past we got uh remix brandon worm lq definitely a guy to mention Dexton Crutchfield, I actually made a, a video on Dexton Crutchfield if you want to check that out. Very high jumper, super great vertical, uh, someone that definitely deserves to be in this honorable mentions. Tyler Curry is a newcomer, but he reminds me a lot of Dexton in his uh, vert style and his, and his dunking style, and I think he's one of the highest jumpers in the world. Definitely could make this list in the future. As old school guys like Air Dog definitely are, uh, are deserving of an honorable mention spot. Smooth. Um, Smooth doesn't jump quite as high as the rest of these guys, but his variation is insane. He can do so many crazy dunks. It's just kind of blows your mind sometimes the kind of stuff that he pulls off, the kind of stuff he thinks of. Just one of the most creative dunkers out there. And finally, for one last guy to put on there, I think that we definitely have to give a shout out to Young Hollywood, who's made both of my past lists. But sadly, today just slightly misses out. Um, he's like the 11th guy, Young Hollywood, really, really an impressive dunker. Um, but sadly, he's just the runner up for this list. All that being said, let's get into the list with uh, number 10. So at number 10, I decided to put um, Kenny Dobbs. He's made both of my previous lists. Dobbs is a very high jumper and has just such a great like collection of footage. You know, he just he's done so many different things. He's one of the most variable dunkers out there, one of the most creative dunkers out there. He really innovated the game of dunking for everyone else. Uh, not the highest jumper on the list, but he makes up for that definitely in his creativity and the stuff he's been able to pull off. Best dunk is probably the butterfly dunk in my opinion. It's not a contest dunk like some of his others, but just the fact that it's like such a Lucas. unique dunk to do and I haven't really seen anyone reproduce it, like technical ability and how well he's able to balance jumping really high and handling the balls really well. So I came in that middle section of dunking after the super old school guys had already were already starting to vanish and he kind of like innovated it for the new school class and really is was an important figure in the dunking community. At number eight and nine, it's highly debatable which way I was gonna go with this because uh, both guys are really good. Um, I decided to put Lepic at number Nine, I know that's kind of a controversial opinion. When I first made my list and I put Lepic lower, um, I got a lot of hate for that. There's a lot of Lepic fans out there. And I think he's really, really great. That's why he makes the list every time. But I think there's one guy at eight that's just slightly better. Um, and that's been moving up recently in the game. But definitely Lepic is one of the best dunkers in the game right now. Um, he's super talented. He's got um, a great bounce. He's done some really impressive stuff just doesn't quite have the impact of these other eight guys ahead of him and that's why I have to put him at number nine. Um, at number eight we have a newcomer, a guy who hasn't made any of my previous lists and one of the main reasons I decided I had to make an update video because I just knew this guy had to be in one of my lists and that was Chris Staples. He's been moving up in the dunking world big time. He's one of the most impressive dunkers that I've seen. Uh, he's just, he jumps so high. Um, I know he's been getting a lot of, uh, a lot of love on these um, YouTuber baller lists and that's definitely appreciated to see see Chris get some love for those because like I really think he's just one of the most impressive basketball players on the YouTube community and he's like a top three dunker in the world right now like there's a couple guys in that conversation but he's top three right now currently in the world 
it, at, as a dunker, and he's just he's just so impressive. Um, I think his best dunk is probably his Christ Air dunk. I just think it looks so so slick, and people have tried to replicate it, but no one's really done it the way that he can do it. And every single time he dunks, he just impresses me more and more. I have another video on uh, Chris Staples and the kind of unique dunks he can do, so definitely check that one out. At number seven, it hurts me a little bit to put this guy this low. A guy, one of my favorite dunkers that I've ever seen, uh, Justin Darlington, comes in at number seven, a Canadian dunker. Uh, he's super impressive. He just glides. He's got so much air time. He's a little bit of a taller guy, so he can pull off some variations that other guys can't really do. And he uses that to his advantage greatly. He was kind of in that Kenny Dobbs era. His best dunk to me is definitely his cartwheel under both legs. It's kind of a more unknown dunk. There's someone else out there that can do it or that has done it, but I've never actually seen anyone else do it. Like he's the only one that I've seen the footage from doing something like that. And yeah, no, he's just so impressive as a dunker. At number six, we got to give respect to Jonathan Clark, man. This guy has skyrocketed up the list. I think on my original list, he was uh, 10th. And now he's all the way up at six, but he's done so much in such a little time. Obviously, he just pulled off the double between the legs, the double East Bay dunk. And he's pulled off tons of other dunks. He's just so, so variable, so much variation to his dunking game. He's doing stuff no one else is doing. And, um, but earlier I mentioned that Chris Staples is like top three. Uh, yeah, Jordan Clark is top two um, currently in the world. And this guy, man, he's just so good. He really could make the top five. He's borderline top five. And I just can't wait to see what comes next for John, uh, Jonathan Clark. Um, at number five, we have a guy who's always been in my top five. Um, I always got to throw respect out to my guy, Guy Dupuis. Such an impressive dunker. Uh, Guy can jump super high. He's a taller guy, just like uh, Darlington. But he can jump super high and he does stuff that no one else in the world can do because only a guy with his specific build and his specific vertical can do that kind of stuff. That jump, the kind of dunks he does, jumping over cars, going between the legs, going under the legs over a car. I, I haven't seen anyone else do stuff like that. Uh, he did um, a behind the back over a car dunk. That's, I think, his best dunk that I've ever seen from him. A little bit of a, another underground dunk. You know, people don't really talk about that one as much, but I think it's just such an impressive highlight from him. So now we get into the top four. And these guys are the cream of the crop. Like every single one of them had such a big impact in their time. And they revolutionized the dunking game so much. They're such like huge dunkers that I feel like they had to be reserved for this like prime category of this top four. And of course we have to begin with one of the greatest dunkers of all time. One of the revolutionaries, um, T-Dub. Man, T-Dub, he kind of like, he was back, he was a classic dunker in that golden child era. And um, man, he just did so much for the dunking game. He pretty much invented the double up, which has now just become such a quintessential dunk. And his bounce is huge. He's such a short guy, so it looks amazing. I just saw a clip uh, shared by Dunkademics of T-Dub's doing this in-game in dunk where he grabs the ball and kind of like, uh, flips it behind his head and it's one of the most impressive things I've seen this week man that was such a cool highlight I had to watch it like five times T-Dub just like even today we can recover footage of him doing some stuff that people today can't do anymore like he's really paved the way for the Dex and Crutchfields and the Tyler Currys of the world because he's that kind of dunker number three you have to throw the respect to one of the most beautiful looking dunkers uh air up there this guy's bounce is something different when you watch him dunk he looks like the highest flyer you'll ever see. When you watch him jump, he jumps so high. His airtime is insane. Um, in one of my other videos, I called him Infinite Airtime. I feel like that's an appropriate title. I never actually found out what his exact vertical was. A lot of these guys, it's kind of hard to dictate their exact verticals, but if I had to put a bet on it, I'd say he might have the highest vertical on this list. It's kind of hard to say, but just by watching him, he definitely has the most airtime and he might have the highest vertical. Now for number one and two, you guys probably know what's coming. It's been the same from the from day one, my top two dunkers. Okay. They've switched between each other a, a few times, but it's always been the same two guys. And I gotta go with them again. Number two, Kadur Ziani. Man, like people don't talk about Kadur Ziani enough, man. He was like, he really was the first great dunker in my opinion. Lots of people put that on T-Dub because T-Dub was American. Kadur was from France and T-Dub kind of like definitely revolutionized it in America but Kadur was even older than T-Dub and Kadur 
jump so high. Like I've heard people talk about the 60 inch vertical. I don't know if the 60 inch vertical is real. That seems a little excessive. But you look at the guy, he's like 5'11". Um, he jumps and his head is above the rim and he's holding a basketball. So putting that all together, he's got a 50 plus inch vertical for sure. Like a legit 50 plus. And he was back in an era where there was no one else doing what he was doing. And he revolutionized dunk the dunking game in a way that no one else has ever done. Which leaves number one, the number one that's always been number one, and that has to be Jordan Kilgannon. You have to give Jordan Kilgannon number one. And I'll tell you why. I know that some people complain, they're like, oh, a white guy number one, or they're like, you know, he's he can jump super high and stuff, but some people don't really understand the fact that Jordan Kilgannon is easily the most impressive dunker. Probably the greatest dunker today. That's what I was saying before. It's either Jordan Clarkson or it's Jordan Kilgannon. It's hard to choose which one is the current modern greatest dunker, but, in, but Jordan Kilgannon isn't even in his prime. And he's like the only one who's done like hundreds, like there's hundreds of dunks out there that only he can do. And that's why he has to be up here. He has to be number one, even though he's like a white guy, even though he has some controversial opinions, he's just, he's such an impressive dunker and we, and we can't discredit him and we can't discredit his throne. And we have to put him up there, man, because Jordan Kilgannon, I don't know what to say. He's, he's just so great. Just all of these guys are legends. All 10 of these guys are legends. Um, so I'd like to see your guys' list in the comments. What you guys think of my list. Give me your best criticisms. Show me what you think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm thinking about posting a top 10 ball handlers outside the NBA. So if you guys got any professional ball handlers that you wanted to throw my way, um, guys you thought that should be on that list, go ahead and comment about those. And rather than that, um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.